It's not always the case that I have to rush to my computer the moment I wake up, but this morning there were just a couple of things that I needed to attend to and a couple of emails that I needed to reply to before I could really sort of get my day started. This morning was already looking so busy and I've just been sending emails saying that I'm being put on another project that has some work that needs to be done this morning, so... Woo! A great start to Monday! <laughs> so, every morning I start my day by making a massive to-do list of all the things that's on my mind that I'd like to get done today. I do this by keeping an A4 piece of paper on my desk and just jotting down every single thing I need to get done. In investment banking, it's very likely that you'll get lots of inbounds throughout the day of people asking you to do lots of small tasks and big tasks, and so it's always good to just have a piece of paper to jot everything down so you don't forget to complete tasks. I then moved on to have a catch-up call with a colleague so that I could get a brief on this new project that I've been staffed on. Oh no, I didn't know that. Sorry, I'm trying to find the page, just give me one moment. I was on the wrong deck. Okay, yeah, so the top 20 shareholders one. Exactly. Great, perfect. Thanks so much for calling, let me know. No, I think it's fine. All right, cool. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye. And so once I'd kind of got the really important tasks done and I'd had that sort of catch-up call with my colleague, I could then sort of start my day properly. For those of you who know me, you know my day doesn't start until I've had a coffee. And so that's the next thing I really need to get done before doing any more work. busy to busy. This morning I've kind of been working simultaneously on three different projects and um, on one of the projects I needed to hand something in and then on the other one I had um, one of the seniors call and sort of provide live comments. Uh, so basically like be telling me things to change on the fly while I'm on the phone so I kind of had to be taking down those notes but also make sure I get this other deck out for um, a meeting that's in 15-20 minutes that has some level of priority there and so it's like kind of juggling everything can get a bit much and that's like very common in banking very common to kind of be listening in a one phone call be taking notes but also kind of keep your eye on emails but also kind of be finishing work for something else but yeah no this morning has been a little bit crazy but we move we power through especially Monday mornings can always be quite a struggle just because there's so much stuff that's sort of accumulated over the weekend or things um, that have progressed over the weekend and so it's time to like action things but yeah gonna power through some of the comments that I had to make on this other deck that we had a call for and then I'm going to go back to potentially actually try and do the things that I had on my to-do list with to, do, to do today um, it's almost 11 o'clock and yeah been a pretty jam-packed morning. Central and eastern parts of Kansas will very probably be cloudy in the morning, and then western Kansas will begin to get increasing cloudiness by tomorrow afternoon. Today, however, a very, very pleasant reading. 73 up in the Goodland area, 72 at Garden City, 70 reported by Dodge City and Liberal, 72 two, two over by the good folks of Guam. So I've just been working on a deck for a client. And there are a couple of pages, because we're all kind of working on different things, um, and then some of the pages that were put into the deck were in different format to the pages that were in like, the client's themed format, whereas the other pages were on like, the bank's format. Um, and so but we'll kind of see whether we can just send it like this, because it's just a draft for now, it's on like, the final deck. Um, that could be fun if I have to now align all the formatting. This has actually been probably one of the busiest mornings I've had in, like, or like a while like mornings are really busy but this has just been crazy and then I feel like I need two of me to kind of get everything done this morning uh, it's 10 past one and I also need to eat something 
So, uh, might head down and see what is for lunch. One of the perks of living at home is that you don't have to worry too much about going down having to cook and take the time to do that because there's usually something or the other made. I'm gonna head down and like take a five minute break from all of this madness. <laughs> One hour later. I was supposed to go get lunch earlier but then um, I ended up getting stuck on something else but now it's almost 2 p.m. and I'm gonna go eat something because I'm really really hungry and it's just been a, a crazy morning. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna head down now. I am so grateful to be living at home because when I do get a break from work, it's so nice to go downstairs and speak to my parents and kind of talk about non financy real world things. Not to say that finance isn't part of the real world, but it's just nice to step away from what can be quite an all consuming world. The majority of the work that I have to do as an analyst in investment banking is done on Excel and PowerPoint. That can include putting together some financial data, performing some calculations and analysis to try and get a clearer picture of um, a concept company or something that you're trying to maybe convey to a client. And then PowerPoint is used to convey that data analysis that you've done to the client in a very legible, clear way. To give you an example, in the course of that one day, I probably worked on maybe 10 different Excel files and maybe four or five different presentations. So I just came down to grab a coffee and then I had to run back up because I got a call from one, uh, one of the seniors on the deal, the file that I just sent. That's one thing that you can, de that definitely happens. You send something and then you'll immediately get like emails going, hey, can you actually change this and fix this and do that? So that definitely happens. Um, but now I'm going to quickly get a coffee because I need like a sort of midday pick me up. It's about, what's the time? It's about 4.15. So we're about, let's say like halfway through our work day kind of vibe. Um, but hopefully up until about 4 or 5 p.m. things are usually manic and then they kind of calm down as the evening begins. So let's kind of see how today goes. Hopefully it's a bit calmer. This has become my go-to mug. Um, one of my friends sent it to me during Christmas and it was just such a, it's like literally the cutest thing ever. I think it's from Anthropology. Thanks, Sue. <laughs> Gonna go for a decaf. So it's currently 8.30, I just had dinner, I ordered some food because if you work past a certain time then you can order food, even when you're working from home, which is kind of a good deal. You can see like the day can be quite relentless, there's just so much happening that like you could work through the whole day and still get to the evening and be like, mm, I have a decent amount left to do. That's why I feel like stamina in this job, like mental stamina is really important. Let's get back to it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't tell you about the details of the actual work that I'm working on because a lot of this is confidential and not known to the public market. However, throughout the day, there's just quite a lot going on some days, and so it does mean that you sometimes just kind of have to work late at night as well. So it's currently 20 past 10, and when it kind of gets to this point, not only do I crank up the tunes, I'm listening to some Umi right now, um, it kind of gets to the point where you kind of need, I, will, I at least, around 10, 11, start kind of like winding down my day and then I make a massive list of all of the things that I, are between me and my bed, basically. Um, like all the things I need to do today before I can really go to sleep. And so currently I just made a list and there are one, two, three, four, five things on my list that I need to do tonight before um, I can go to sleep. It's nearly half 10. We're kind of looking at the, towards, I think we're looking at around 12 if we're lucky. 
There's something weirdly satisfying that I like working around this time because in the day it's quite hard to sort of focus on one task at a time because you'll have all these inbounds of random requests and tasks so you never really get to focus on long project work. But in the evenings when most of your clients and seniors are no longer at their desk it's kind of nice to be able to work on things at your own speed and own time. I know it's late but it's weirdly usually my most productive time. Answers. User guides. Perfect. Thanks very much. Bye bye. I think we made it to the end of the day. I just finished that call because I needed to call the, that service provider and sort of figure something out that the client was asking about. It's now 11.50. Now this is like a relatively okay time to go to bed. I would, I would say this isn't early, but it isn't late. It's less the time, like I don't think this is a particularly late day, but today has just been crazy in the amount of work you do. Normally in banking, your, let me put you down so you can talk more candidly. Um, I'd say normally in banking your day is kind of in like ebbs and flows where you have like busy bits and you have like chill bits and sometimes I even get like 20-30 minutes to like sit down with my parents and like chat to them and see what they're up to and have a coffee with them or actually sit down and take some time to eat dinner and peas as opposed to bringing dinner to my desk and lunch to my desk and stuff. But today was like very full on. Um, but that's just the nature of the day, nature of the job, I mean. You can tell I'm very tired right now. I kind of enjoyed vlogging this today. It was an interesting day. Um, do let me know what you think down below. Do you see yourself in investment banking? Is this something you could do? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The one thing I have to, that I have to apologize to you for is the fact that I constantly look like a mess, but because when I'm working, I just, I don't really think about like, my appearance. It's more like I just need to get shit done. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this, please click that thumbs up button. I, I cannot tell you how much it helps the channel and the video and the whole algorithm. So take a second to click the thumbs up button. Um, and if you enjoyed this video and want to stick around for more videos about careers, academia, finance, fashion, etc, lifestyle, click that subscribe button and join this wonderful community. Do let me know in the comments down below what you thought of my day and how it compares to your day at work. But I will see you guys soon and I am going to hit the sack because I'm so sleepy and so tired. Um, but yeah, I'll speak to you guys later. Bye!